Good afternoon. My name is Bill Falls, and I have the honor of serving as the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. And I am delighted to welcome you to the 2024 College of Arts and Sciences Senior Awards Ceremony. Today we celebrate and honor the academic achievements of our seniors as they finish their undergraduate careers. To the students who are here to be recognized, welcome and congratulations. I know that there are family members and friends here today, many of whom who have traveled long distances. And to you, I extend a special welcome for coming to share in this wonderful occasion. Please know that you are welcome to come up to the edge of the stage to take pictures during the ceremony. We will also be taking a group photo after each department's awardees are recognized, and copies will be sent to each academic department. To the faculty who are here today, welcome. Seeing our students receive these awards is one of the many pleasures that we as teachers experience, and I am glad to see you here sharing in the joy of this celebration of your students' accomplishments. Finally, I would like to thank the many donors who have helped to create special awards to recognize outstanding academic achievement. It is because of their generosity that many of our students are recognized today. And now I would like to introduce Associate Dean Abby McGowan to talk about Phi Beta Kappa. I want to call your attention to an academic honor that has its own separate ceremony tomorrow, so it's not technically part of our event today, which is namely membership in Phi Beta Kappa. Phi Beta Kappa is the oldest academic honorary society in America. It was founded in 1776. When the UVM charter was, chapter was chartered in 1848, it became only the 11th chapter. In 1875, the UVM chapter became the first to admit women and African Americans into membership. Membership in Phi Beta Kappa is by invitation only, and selection is based partly on GPA, but also on the depth and breadth of a student's course of study within the liberal arts, and the expectation of excellence at high-level coursework throughout their curriculum. Phi Beta Kappa students who were inducted in the fall, as well as those who will be inducted at tomorrow's ceremony, are listed in our program. Please join me in a round of applause for these amazing students and all of their achievements. Congratulations. <laughs> and recognizing still more amazing achievements, I'd like to call on Associate Dean Paul DeLon to speak about the honors thesis recognition. In their third year, students in the College of Arts and Sciences with a GPA of 3.4 or above are invited to apply to pursue college honors. Those who apply elect to undertake a significant research or creative project. The project must first be reviewed and approved by faculty on the College Honors Committee. Students then work for at least two semesters with a faculty mentor to produce an original honors thesis, which is publicly presented and then defended by the student before a faculty committee. The range of scholarly and creative work is impressive, and I encourage you to look through the thesis titles in the program to gain a better appreciation of the work accomplished. Students, as I call your name, please stand where you are and remain standing while the rest of the names are called. We ask that everyone please hold your applause until all the names are read. And this is for students again. Before you sit back down, we're gonna have you all look towards the balcony, which is behind us, so that we can get a group photo. Um, I should also note that not all students are able to attend today's ceremony, so I will only be reading the names of students who confirmed their attendance. So now, the names. Let's hope I get them all right. Um, Joseph Hambright Alexander. 
Julia Katerina Allenson, Leola Francisca Ambio, Taylor Emily Bean, Helen Catherine Adams Betts, Samantha Grace Bjorklin, Elliot J. Bloom, Keelan Emily Boisvert, Kelsey M. Brown, Claire Eleanor Bushy, Melissa Chadwick, Hanalei Clark, Jade Cleary, Annabelle Collins, Brendan Francis Cox, Ryan T. Davin, Grace Olivia Davis, Eamon Tomless Defner, Kathleen Sarah Delaney, Zaley DeLeonardis Page, Nam Huang Ding, Marceline Dockham, Antrenig S. Douglas, Nayantara Dutta, Noah Elstey, Catherine Rose Favre, Serafina Fetcher, Clara Brom Feldman, Sam Furtick, Zoe Kalen Flanzer, Sarah Nicole Friedman, Julia Elise Gamash, Max Chabra Gerlach, Justine Goldblatt, Madeline Gramling, Morgan Renee Gregory, Olivia Caroline Hagios, Johanna Laura DeBoer Hartman, Catherine Zaida Hassan, CJ Healy, Maria Paloma Herrera, Megan A. Hessler, Allison Ray Hoy, Ava Jessup, Sabrina Ann Joseph, Nicholas Austin Kibo, Laurel Eliza King, Abigail Kapelowitz, Noah Casimir Krasen, Isabella Marie Lapierre, Megan Elizabeth Lavigne, Eva Evan Leaf, Amy Mahler, Erin Elizabeth Matthew, Sydney McFarland, Margaret Elena Moses, Francis Fisher Oppenheimer, Owen Vincent Palksick, Margaret Pierce, John Michael Pitblato, Ian Andrew Pless, Cameron Provorni, Antonio Luis Pugliese, Emma Catherine Regan, Sierra Sabic, Madeline S. Saffer, Logan Emerson Sands, Brandon Samuel Schoenfeld, Elizabeth Dra Jane Scrimgeour, Tin Aragorn Skorik, Evelyn Dion Steers, Wyatt Taylor, Maya Thompson, Melissa Uyar, Sarah Van Horn, Margaret Vexy, Daniel J. Wallach, Sabina C. Ward, Hannah Elizabeth Warren, Sophie Ella Worth, Joseph Douglas Webb, Amelia Irene Winquist, Sophia Kennedy Wolf, and last but not least, Caitlin A. Zoller. Now remember, turn around, but applause. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Okay. We'll keep applauding. So apparently I got it wrong, or we got it wrong. Look up to the stage.
We applaud your success, and I invite Dean Falls back to the podium. I think it's Dean Falls. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Thalandis. We will now begin handing out the departmental awards. Students, please come to the stage by using the staircase on your left and walk to the center of the stage. Please remain standing with the presenter for a group photo immediately after the awards are given out. Once the photo has been taken, please return to your seats. Now, I would like to introduce Professor Jean Shea to present the awards for the Department of Anthropology. Good afternoon. I'd like to call the following anthropology majors to the stage. Annabelle Collins, Gideon Michael Laffey Parker, Caleb Litster, Rebecca Shansia Harder, and Brooke O'Leary. Sorry, we have some slightly unwieldy uh, prizes here. Okay. So our first award is the George Henry Perkins Award for Outstanding Senior. This goes to Annabelle Collins and Gideon Michael Laffey Parker. Okay, our next award is the James B. Peterson Archaeology Award, and this goes to Caleb Litster. And our last award is the W.A. Haviland Medal for Outstanding Achievement in Anthropology. And this goes to Rebecca Harder and Brooke O'Leary. And now I'll call Professor Kelly Didio of the Art and Art History Program. Hi, I'm Kelly Didio, the Executive Director of the School of the Arts. And on behalf of my colleagues in Art and Art History, um, I'm going to call up our students, Emma Jepson, Sabina Ward, Bridget Goldberg, and Christine Omark. I'll call up next um, my colleague in Asian Languages and Literatures, John Yen. Hello, 
Hello, my name is Zhang Nin, Director of the Program in Asian Languages and Literatures. I am pleased to honor our outstanding graduating seniors, Max Gerlach and Anika Imboberstick, Isabel Newcoop. <clears throat> Now I'm calling biochemistry program professor Mac Liptak. Hello, uh, it's my honor today to present the Senior Biochemistry Awards. Uh, we have four students coming up, so it's Sydney McFarland, Hannah Koval, Ali Zauk, and Nick Perez. So Sydney McFarlane has won the Edward Bresnick Award for uh, Senior Biochemistry Major who's demonstrated excellence in medical biochemistry research. <laughs> Hannah Koval has won the John Tanasi Award. Um, this is given for recognition of research excellence as well as academic achievement. Ali Zauk has won the Louise Nutter Award. Um, this is for excellence in um, scholarship research as well as service to the program. And finally, the Robert Woodworth Award goes to Nicholas Perez. Um, this is for the highest academic achievement in the biochemistry program. And I'll call Professor Brian Balif to the stage from the Department of Bi Biology. Would the seven biology award winners please come to the stage? You know who you are. The Bernd Heinrich Award in Physiology or Evolution is given to two awardees, Liam Kelleher and Caitlin Zoller. The George M. Happ Award in Biology goes to two awardees, Justine Goldblatt and Sarah Kim. The George Perkins Marsh Award in Ecology or Evolution goes to Morgan Gregory. The George M. Herbers Award goes to Maya Thompson.
and the Kurt Milton Pickett Award goes to Ryan Davin. I invite to the podium Department of Chemistry Chair Matthias Brewer. Would the Chemistry Award recipients please come to the stage? We have four uh, awards to give out today, um, and you've all already received the physical awards at a department ceremony, so that you just get a hearty handshake today. Uh, but the uh, Excellence in Physical Chemistry Award goes to Gavin Seacard. The Clinton D. Cook Award for uh, Outstanding Achievement in Analytical Chemistry goes to Dagny Kelter. And then the remaining two awards uh, are the Christopher W. Allen Award for Excellence in Inorganic Chemistry and the American Chemical Society Green Mountain Section Award uh, which was presented to a senior for overall excellence in chemistry. Those this year are both being split by Claire Bushy and Megan Levine. Now I'd like to call to the podium uh, senior lecturer Jessica Evans from the Classics Program. Hi everyone, I am delighted to present awards to uh, students in Classics on behalf of the department. So could the following students please come to the stage. Um, Joseph Alexander, Dan Wallach, Ali Lyles, and Jenna Schiffman. Uh, the first award is the Frederick Arnold Vinton Prize, which is awarded to a student um, who has demonstrated excellence in Latin and Greek, and that goes to Joseph Alexander. Uh, the next award is the John H. Kent Memorial Award in Classics to graduating seniors uh, who have demonstrated excellence in classics, and those awards go to Dan Wallach and Ali Lyles, who I think is not here today. So, Dan Wallach. And the last award is the Ethel, Ethel Wolf Classic Scholarship Award uh, presented by the Alpha Chapter of Phi Beta Kappa to a student majoring in Latin, Greek, or classical civilization. And that award goes to Jenna Schiffman. And I'd now like to call my colleague, uh, senior lecturer Jason Hibbler from the Department of Computer Science to the stage. Hello, everyone. I would like to call Sydney White, please, to come to the stage. <laughs> Sydney White is the recipient of the Outstanding Senior in Computer Science Award, which is given to the student on the basis of academic performance and commitment to the field of computer science.
On behalf of my colleague uh, Yolanda Flores, Director of the Critical Race and Ethnic Studies Program, I would like to welcome uh, Emma Louise Campbell to the stage, who is the recipient of the Critical Race and Ethnic Studies Outstanding Senior, receiving the Lucy Terry Prince Award. Good afternoon. It is my honor to present three awardees, the award for three awardees in the economics department. Can I call onto the stage Gavin Secard, Nicholas Austin Kibo, and Tin Aragorn Skorik to the stage, please. Okay, so Gavin Adrian Secard will be receiving two awards today, the Freeman Saltus Award and the John H. Converse Award. <laughs> Tin Skorik will be receiving the Philip H. Lohman Award also for academic achievement. We have another recipient who could not make it today. It's Nicholas Kibo. He is also um, a co-awardee for the John H. Converse Award and the Scrobuck Award. We will be um, mailing this to him. I'd like to call on my colleague, Professor Mary Louise Keat, Chair of the um, English Department. Thank you. I'd like to call uh, Antonio Puglisi, Sophie Wolf, Eamon Dunn, Hannah Lee Clark, Noah Crassen, Sam. Samantha Sanborn and Mel, excuse me, somehow one of ours got missed here, Mel Chadwick to the stage. Our first award today is the Samuel Bogward Award for the outstanding English major. And with this award, in honor of Professor Bogarard, who served for many, many years here and was a Milton scholar. I would like to present the Willard B. Pope Award to Sophie Wolf. <laughs> and the Benjamin Wainwright Award to Eamon Dunn. Our next award is the Huck Gutman Award in American Poetry that goes to Hannah Lee Clark. And I'd like to present the Marion Berry Albee Award for Excellence in Composition to Noah Crasson.
and the Douglas Pinto Award to Samantha Sanborn. And finally, uh, last but not least, the Tom Marmot Award to Mel Faye Chadwick. Good afternoon. I'm Shelley Rayback. I'm the chair of Geography and Geoscience and the director of the Environmental Sciences Program. Could Samantha Grace Bjorklund please come to the stage? <laughs> Samantha or Sam has won our Outstanding Senior Award in Environmental Sciences and the Faculty of Environmental Sciences is very pleased to give you our congratulations. And could my colleague Mark Usher please come to the stage to prevent, present for environmental studies. Would Gemma DeForio and Julia Reisman please come to the stage. Gemma and Julia are recipients of the Outstanding Graduating Senior in Environmental Studies Award. And may I invite to the podium uh, my colleague Todd McGowan in the program of Film and Television Studies. I'd like to call Ainsley Morton to the stage. Uh, Ainsley has won our Outstanding Senior in Film and Television Studies Award. I'd like to call Charles-Louis Morin Metivier, uh, French and Italian, to the stage. Calling on stage uh, Noah Lefasso and Lorraine Great Katz. Noah Lefasso is the recipient of the Marie Geno Prize for Outstanding Senior in French. Lorraine Grace Katz is the recipient of the Maria, Francis Mario Maria Franca Morselli Prize for Outstanding Senior in Italian. And I call on stage uh, Mary Berg, Director of the Program of Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies. Okay. 
said, I have Madison Chase and Nico Walton to the stage, please. This year, our recipient for the Ellen Hamilton and Lyda Mason Award is Madison Chase. And our recipient for our Outstanding Senior Award is Nico Walton. I'm going to call back Professor Shaley Ray back to the stage again. Uh, could I please have Emily Woz Wansner, Wasner, excuse me, Brandon Schoenfeld, and Serena Velia to the stage? So on behalf of my colleagues in Geography and Geosciences, um, we are awarding Emily Wasner, who cannot be with us, and Brandon Schoenfeld for Outstanding Senior in Geography today. And our colleagues are also awarding uh, the Charles G. Dole Award uh, for Outstanding Senior in Geology to Serena Villa today. And if I could please have Professor Kathleen Scullins, the director of the German, Russian, and Hebrew, Hebrew program. I would like to call the award winners in German and Russian to the stage. Our outstanding seniors in German are Clara Feldman and Simon Walter. Our outstanding senior in Russian is Daria Brathwaite. And the Kevin McKenna Award for Outstanding Achievement and Scholarship in Russian goes to Ethan Briggs. I'd like to call Associate Dean and Professor Pablo Bose to the stage for Global and Regional Studies Program. I'd like to ask the uh, students receiving awards in Global Studies and Latin American and Caribbean Studies to the stage, please.
The Global Studies Program is proud to present the Global Studies Community Engagement and Activism Awards to Gabby Gomez and Alex Amston. The Global Studies Excellence in Research Award goes to Clara Feldman. The Global Studies Top Scholar Award goes to Kelly Eddy. The Robert D. Benedict Award for Best Essay in International Affairs goes to Audrey Ashdown and Abra Levin. We did actually give them something just earlier. Just in case you're wondering why I'm only giving a gift to the last person. Um, uh, and the Pedro Albizu Campos Award for Excellence in Latin American and Caribbean Studies goes to Sophie Aronson. I'd like to invite Jean Shea, Director of the Health and Society Program, to the stage. Hello. Would the following Health and Society students please come to the stage? Kaylin Boisvert, Abby Demag, Michaela Hone, Elena Marcelli, and Lillian Tuhig. So each of these students, um, we, we, we just couldn't, we couldn't distinguish between them. They have all won the Outstanding Senior Award in Health and Society. Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Dave Massell. I am a professor of history and director of undergraduate studies. Could I call Emma, Regan, Megan Hessler, and Casey Murphy to the stage? Thank you for accommodating my limp. It is my pleasure to award Emma Regan with the Goran Prize in American History. And it is my Great pleasure as well to award the Paul D. Evans Award jointly to Megan Hessler and Casey Murphy.
Maeve, Maeve Eberhardt of Linguistics, please come to the podium. I'd like to call Christos Kontakos to the stage, please. This year, the Virginia Clark Outstanding Senior in Linguistics Award goes to Christos Anthony, Anthony Kentakos. I'd like to call uh, Joan Rosie Rosebush from the Mathematics Program to the stage. And I would like to ask our shining star in mathematics, Amelia Irene Winquist, to come to the stage, please. Clearly, she's one of our finest. And I ask Kelly DiDio to come back to the stage, please. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the Brian Balliff method and have the music students come up that will be recognized. Keep coming down this way. Don't be shy. The music students are used to being on a stage, so it should be easy. Um, I, on behalf of the faculty in music, uh, I present the Lyman Rowell Award for Academic Achievement to Gideon Parker. I say that. Hold on. Sorry, Gideon. You're here, I promise. Uh, the Rowell Outstanding Senior in Music Education Award goes to Katie Lualbo. And the Rawa Outstanding Senior in Music Award goes to Ella Paulson. I have the Papoutsakis Award for Conducting Directing for Lindsay Rusnock. Sorry, it's here. There we go. Maybe I should do this the opposite way. Uh, the Outstanding Minor in Music Award for Sierra Heiner, Sydney McFarland, Sarah Petno, and Jenna Ranson. <laughs> All right. I really am going to try to organize myself. Here you go. And Jenna, did I, Jenna, I'm going to give you yours. <clears throat> Let's switch your doodle. Um, all right. And I have the Lane Series Prize for Music Technology and Business for Annie Heller and Willow Phoenix. Uh, 
I am, oh, sorry, forgetting that. I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Professor Molly Stanley, Associate Director of the uh, Neuroscience Program. All right, I'll invite our Neuroscience Senior Award winners to the stage, Noah Elstey, Isabel Berman, Ruby Guth, and Grace Davis. Uh, this year's Bruce S. Cap Award, uh, which is given for outstanding independent research and academic achievement, goes to Noah Elstey. Uh, this year we have two Excellence in Neuroscience Awards. Uh, this is for the highest academic achievement in our program, and that's to Isabel Berman and Ruby Guth. And last, we have our Rodney Parsons Award, which is for outstanding leadership as well as research and academic achievements. And this year, the recipient is Grace Davis. And I'll invite Professor Mark Moyer from Philosophy up. I'd like to call Megan Hessler to the stage, please. This is not the first time she's been up here and will not be the last. Um, the philosophy department each year gives the John Dewey Award to the top student in the philosophy department, and I'm proud to announce that this year's uh, a winner is Megan Hessler. And if I could call to the podium Peter Von Depp with the political science department. Thank you. I'm Peter Von Depp, the chair of the Political Science Department, and I would like to call to the stage the award winners from our department. We have six awards, and we'll be recognizing, uh, I think, eight students as we go. I'd like to start with the Departmental Prize in Political Theory, which goes to Cade Morris. The Departmental Prize in Comparative Politics, which goes to Kate Betts. For the Warren and Mildred Austin Prize in International Peace and Security, we have two award winners. The first is Jeffrey Henderson. The other award winner, Jacob Greenberg, could not be here. 
The Frank M. Bryan Prize in American Politics. We also have two award winners. The first is Olivia Eisenberg. And the prize is also awarded to Maddie McGilligan. The Elliott Brown Award for Outstanding Senior in Political Science is awarded to Alex Nauman. And last but not least, we have the Alan Wertheimer Award for the Best Thesis in Political Science. Sarah was recognized earlier at our departmental ceremony today. She's coming to the stage now. The award goes to Sarah Friedman. And after my photo, I would like to call John Green to the stage. My name is John Green. I'm a professor and chair of psychological science. I'd like to call the psychological science award winners to the stage, please. So the Donald G. Forgay's Outstanding Senior Award goes to Kathleen Sarah Delaney. The George W. Albee Award, we have two award winners this year. The first is Aliyah Aga. <laughs> yes, I should have put these in order. And there we go, it's the last one, of course. And the second George W. Albee Award winner is Hannah B. Mill. The Heinz L. Ansbacher Award this year goes to Sydney May Hardy. The John Dewey Award, uh, we have two award winners. The first is Sierra Sabek. And the second award winner is Madeline Gramling. And finally, uh, a new award this year, the Mark E. Bowton Award. 
We uh, also have two winners of this award. The first is Adina R. Kraus. And the second uh, winner of the Mark E. Bouton Award is Noah Elstey. I'd like to call to the stage Professor of Religion, Thomas Borchardt. Good afternoon. Could Hannah Hartman come to the stage, please? So the winner of this year's Ann L. Clark Outstanding Senior Major in Religion is Johanna Laura DeBoer Hartman. <laughs> Could Jennifer Strickler, Chair of Sociology, come to the podium, please? I'd like to call the following students to the stage. Stella schaefer Sudez, Megan Hessler, Evan Leaf, and Morgan McEwen. And the Jeanette Fulta Memorial Award goes to Stella Schaefer Sudes. The Valerie Ann Moore Memorial TA Award goes to Morgan McEwen. The S. Frank Sampson Excellence in Social Theory Award goes to Evan Leaf. And the Outstanding Senior in Sociology Award goes to Megan Hessler. I'd like to call up to the podium Professor John Waldron, the director of the Spanish program. Uh, Maddie Gorley. Maddie is the winner of the Federico Garcia Lorca Prize for Outstanding Senior in Spanish. As she makes her way up here, I'll say a little bit about it. She, he lived in Granada, Spain, where Maddie did her study abroad. Um, and lived in exile a little bit in New York and also passed through Vermont where he stayed for a few months. Um, anyway, so Maddie. Hi, I'm Professor Helen Morgan Permet, and I'm the director of the Speech and Debate Program, and I'd like to call Rachel Sarah Kusick to the stage, please. It is my distinct pleasure to present the award for the Edwin W. Lawrence Award for Outstanding Debater to Rachel Kusick. I 
I'd now like to invite Professor uh, Kelly DiDio back up to the stage to give the awards for theater. Doing this three times, hopefully, will be the charm. So um, on behalf of my colleagues in theater and dance, uh, I'd ask for the following students to come up. Natalie Bett, Abby Domingue, Addy Coda, and Marty Nindula. Our outstanding seniors in dance are Natalie Bett and Abby Dominguez. <laughs> Our at outstanding seniors in theater are Marty Nindula and Addy Coda. Please join me in another round of applause for our senior award winners. And finally, our last award. It's time to announce the recipient of the Hannah Howard Prize for Outstanding Achievement in the College of Arts and Sciences. Will Sarah Ariel Haram Kim please come to the stage? The Hannah Howard Prize is awarded to an undergraduate senior who has achieved the highest grade point average in the college while enrolled on a full-time basis. The prize was willed to the University of Vermont by Hannah V. Howard for scholarship attainments, good standing, and deportment. This year's award winner is Sarah Kim. Sarah is a biological sciences, bachelor of science major with minors in emergency medicine services and chemistry. Sarah is from Massachusetts and is graduating with a perfect GPA. Sarah's an extraordinary student. Sarah's intellect and capacity are profound, and she carries these and many more excellent qualities in an unassuming, humble way. I had the good fortune to lead courses in which Sarah enrolled. In my teaching, I often engage students with questions of experimental design and data analysis. Any, structure, any instructor knows there are regularly a few students in a class on whom one can depend fully to add insightful questions and thoughtful analysis to the course dialogue. Sarah was exactly this type of student, and I was always grateful to have her in class. I'm confident that Sarah spent many hours studying. However, Sarah's retention and recall of concept seemed effortless. After graduating, Sarah plans to continue gaining healthcare experience, particularly as an emergency medical technician and conducting clinical research all while applying to medical school. Sarah will be, Sarah will be exactly the type of knowledgeable and caring physician we all would hope to encounter when we seek preventative and acute care. Finally, Sarah is a wonderful, honest, pleasant, and authentic person. It is an honor to be the one to give you this short introduction to Sarah Kim, our distinguished 2024 Hannah Howard Award winner.
That concludes our program. Before a final round of applause for all our award winners, please join me in thanking our organist, uh, Yoon Hee Kim. Thank you all for being here and celebrating with us. Please follow behind the faculty as we exit the chapel. Thank you. <laughs>